With the reveal of Echoes of Wisdom, we not only got a look at Zelda's first playable adventure, but a breakdown of the changes to conventional 2D Zelda gameplay design. Awanuma stated they wanted to take the top-down perspective into a new direction, since we will be following Zelda this time around. Instead of swinging around the sword, Zelda will be accompanied by a fairy called Tri, as well as using a new item called the Tri Rod. This new weapon allows Zelda to create copies of items called Echoes. Echoes provide both combat and exploration gameplay mechanics. The possibilities are seemingly endless, with Awanuma even stating that he hasn't seen all the Echoes in the game. Initially, it looks as though Echoes have no limits due to the lack of a traditional magic meter, but after further inspection, you'll notice that Tri has these triangles following behind them. These triangles are what take the place of the magic meter, as we can see in the top right corner, the Echoes have a cost in order to be summoned. At different moments in the trailer, we see these triangles increase in number, and this directly correlates to the Echoes with higher costs. For example, the Deku Baba shown here has a 2 triangle cost, where the miscellaneous items only cost 1. This points to the power and usefulness of Echoes scaling depending upon their functionality. Presumably, the combat focused Echoes require more triangles in order to keep things balanced, with the higher costing enemies likely more challenging to acquire. Multiple playstyles appear to be possible through enemy Echoes, as we can see here with this Deku Baba attacking crows that fell for this chunk of meat that Zelda summoned as well. With the Redeb, we see Zelda utilize its Shriek in order to stun this enemy encampment. Just like with the Era of the Wild games, Echoes of Wisdom is leaning in a more open approach to how the game is played. All the different Echoes and abilities they possess means that there are many ways to approach the challenges in this game. The triangles that we use to create these Echoes appear to increase in quantity as we see Tri begin with 3 and then later a 4th appears. I think that these triangles are going to be the main reward for completing whatever the core challenges are in this game, be it dungeons or whatever new things are implemented. This could also serve as a narrative device too. There's an unnatural amount of Triforce symbolism in this game already, which is a bit jarring with how little we've seen of it in recent Zelda history. I think this title is going to heavily revolve around the Triforce actually. Take the title, Echoes of Wisdom, a direct connection to Zelda being the bearer of the Triforce of Wisdom. Perhaps in this game we will see a return of collecting Triforce pieces. Each new piece you acquire becomes a new triangle that follows Tri and gives you the ability to use more Echoes. We can guess that bosses will make a return because, well, this is a Zelda game, but this giant golem appearing out of the ground does seem to have the same energy around it as the rifts that are appearing across Hyrule. Perhaps these bosses are in possession of or are gatekeeping the pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom. This new design for 2D Zelda is definitely going to create unique and interesting gameplay elements and present the same open-ended creative problem solving that we saw in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I know for some people 2D Zelda is as traditional as it gets and that you might be weary of the changes made to its game design, but I'd like you to think of it as a new opportunity to experience a familiar idea with a fresh new perspective. Echoes of Wisdom is looking to be a super fun entry into the series and I'm so excited to finally get to play as Zelda. The new gameplay looks engaging and creative and I can't wait to experience it alongside all of you as well. Tell me what parts of Echoes of the Kingdom have gotten you the most excited. I'd love to hear your responses. That of course will bring us to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already because we will of course be talking more about this new game in the months to come. Like the video if you liked it and as always I will see you in the next one.